Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, marine biologists, this is Kyle Kruger from Kruger with a Dot, and we're here to celebrate the four-year anniversary of the death of Stephen Hillenburg. If you don't know, Stephen Hillenburg was, firstly, he was a writer on Rocco's Modern Life, 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 and then he started to create his own show. He is the creator of SpongeBob SquarePants. Nickelodeon's mascot, Nickelodeon's Ma Mickey Mouse, Nickelodeon's Bugs Bunny, Nickelodeon's... What's other mascots we can use to analyze? And... It was a very shocking day, to be honestly fair. Because Steven's death was right after Stan Lee's death, and it was just another kick in the nuts for people that, you know, that love arts and comics and other medias, and it just... Really pained. I'm just going to say this, say this, that Steven was, he had no idea that his show Spongebob was going to be a revolutionary cash cow market show, and I have to give him credit for that. I want to thank, I want to say Steven was a good showrunner runner, a good writer, a good even a good director, even though he only directed one movie. Which is the one Oscar, which I do contend that it should have been nominated for an Oscar instead of Shark Tank. Shark Tale. I hate Shark Tale. Okay, screw it. But anyways, uh, that's a bit of a bias. SpongeBob, the first SpongeBob movie should have been nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> instead of Shark Tale. But anyways, I am a huge fan of Spongebob. I love Spongebob from beginning, middle, and end. We had some bumpy roads with, with season 6 through 8 of the show, but we survived. And, and it's just a really dark, really dark future now that he's gone. And now that Nickelodeon is, take, is taking advantage of his death, but we're not going to talk about it. I'm gonna. Steven was, I heard, was a cool dude. Someone who loved a lot of things. It was just a cool dude. Just sad that, that he's gone. I think for my wish. I think Nickelodeon should end Spongebob because Steven Hillenburg's gone now. Like, not continue it as a show, but, like, continue it in video games or comic books. That's all. I also have to give Steven a lot of credit for 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 leaving Nickelodeon because originally Spongebob was only meant to be meant to be three seasons. The movie was meant to be the series finale, but Nickelodeon continued the series and he left. And I have to give Steven Hillenburg a lot of credit. He did the right thing. That he stood up for what he believed in. And it shows that Steve has his own limits. It shows that that he stands up for the right reasons. That he that he's that he cares about his project and his art than what studios say. And I have to give him credit for that. Steven Hillenburg, you are an awesome dude. Steven, I want to thank you for creating Spongebob. You're the man. I and a lot of Spongebob 
fans miss you a lot. But I want to tell you this. You're not forgotten. You will never be forgotten. And I will admit it does feel a bit empty now that you're gone. You're a pretty cool dude. And it, it just sucks. That you're gone. And. <sighs> Thank you for creating a show that me and a lot of people love. Thank you. Steven Hillenberg for that stuff. Without you we wouldn't have Spongebob. We wouldn't have Patrick Sandy. Mr. Krabs. San Patrick, sorry, Patrick, Sandy, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Gary, and others. Your show, you've accomplished a lot by creating Spongebob. You've done a lot of good. And it does suck that, now if you don't know, Steven did return to the show after, not, after season 9B and 12. And the show got better, and it's still good, even though he's he's gone, but the fact that he worked a show through his death really shows a lot. Steve, I want to tell you this, Steven. You've earned a lot of people's respect, and we all miss you. We all think you're awesome. We all think you're cool. We all think you're you're a great show creator, writer, and also a marine biologist because I will admit I was one of those people that bought the SpongeBob DVD for the first movie back when I was little and and there was a video where where, where Steven Hillenberg explained what type of animals they are. Characters Characters. This is where I found out that, oh, a sponge is an animal. It's an odd animal. And I was like, that's cool. That explains why SpongeBob walks around, if you get what I mean. And that was good. Yeah. This guy's work has impacted me. Steven, thank you for, for making Spongebob. And for me, on behalf of every Spongebob fan, thank you for this. You are never forgotten. We all miss you. Not forgotten. Thank you.